Hey there gamers, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to explore some of the most exciting updates, rumors and insider info surrounding GTA 6. It's been a wild ride with little to no official news for almost a year, but we have managed to gather some incredible insights. From Sony securing market rights to the insane facial realism comparison between Audio 2 and GTA 6, this episode will cover it all. Grab your snacks, sit back and let's dive in. Let's kick thing off with the bombshell news. Sony has officially secured the marketing rights for GTA 6. What does this mean, you ask? Well, it's pretty huge. Think about it, PlayStation is now going to have the advantage when it comes to advertising and branding around the launch of GTA 6. Remember how Call of Duty always had those early PlayStation bundles? Now imagine that for GTA 6. This is not just a marketing move, it's a powerful play. For Xbox fans, this could be a serious problem. The GTA series has always been a massive draw for console sales and with PlayStation getting this marketing edge, we could see more gamers gravitating towards Sony. It's going to be interesting to see how Xbox responds. Will they offer exclusive content to counter this or will they take the complete different route, Sony in the driver's seat? In a recent episode of the XNC podcast, insider Mag shared this Sony's deal means they will get to push the game as if it is partnered with PlayStation. The gaming world buzzing about this because it's almost like Sony is making GTA 6 its flagship game. Imagine the sheer amount of PlayStation branding we will see in every GTA 6 ad. It's no wonder Xbox fans are feeling the heat Heat right now. Now let's shift gears and talk about something Rockstar is known for, insanely realistic graphics. If you played Red Dead Redemption 2 and you know what I'm talking about. The level of detail in Audio 2 was jaw dropping from the way characters faced mood to the subtle expressions during dialogue and now with GTA 6, Rockstar is about to take it even further. Early reports suggest that GTA 6 will feature the most advanced facial realism we have ever seen in a video game. Think of it like this, in RDR2 you could see the characters emotions play out on their faces with every little detail. In GTA 6 it's going to be even more lifelike. NPCs will react to your actions with real time expressions and conversations will feel more immersive than ever. This is not just about improving graphics, it's about creating a world that feels alive. The characters will feel like a real people, like you are interacting with living, breathing individuals. It's like Rockstar is trying to blur the line between reality and gaming. Okay, now let's address the million dollar question. When is GTA 6 actually coming out? Finally, we have a solid idea. Industry insiders have pointed to an Atom 2025 release. Yeah, I know it feels like we have been waiting for, but considering the massive scope of this game, it makes sense. Rockstar is infamous for taking their sweet time, but they do it for good reason. Think about how long it took for Red Dead Redemption 2 to come out. It was worth every second of that wait. Now with GTA 6, they are likely going to push the boundaries even further. But why Autumn 2025? Well. If you look at the past Rockstar releases, they have always aimed for that fall window. It gives them time to build hype throughout the year and dominate the holiday season sales. But even though 2025 might seem far away, Rockstar silence suggests they are in the final stages of polishing up the game. Speaking of polishing up, let's talk about the mysterious GTA 6 document version 1.5 was leaked recently. This document is a treasure trove of info packed with new details about the game's world, characters and missions. One of the biggest takeaways, the map is going to be massive, even bigger than what we have seen in past games. Not only that, but Rockstar is also bringing back some beloved locations from previous GTA titles. Imagine revisiting places that you have only seen in older games, but now in a modern day setting, complete with all the bells and whistles that comes with next generation technology. And it's not just about the size, the map will have dynamic weather systems, meaning storms will roll in and the landscapes will change in real time. This kind of attention to detail is exactly why we are all so hyped for this game. Now let's address something that has been driving the community wild. 270 days of silence from Rockstar, that's right. It's been over 9 months since Rockstar gave us any official update about GTA 6. Normally we would see teasers, trailers, interviews or behind the scenes footage by now. But with GTA 6 they have gone completely dark. Why? There are a couple of theories floating around. One is that they are holding back because they want to make one massive ripple. A big splash that will blow everyone away. The other theory is that they are still ironing out some final detail and they don't want to release any footage until it's absolutely perfect. Whatever the case, Rockstar's silence has only made the anticipation grow, fans are on the edge and any tiny bit of news sends the internet into frenzy. But one thing is for sure, when Rockstar does finally break that silence, it's going to be huge. Now let's talk about something that caught everyone's off guard. Some eagle-eyed YouTubers have been finding mistakes in the first GTA 6 trailer. Yep, you hear that right, despite Rockstar's reputation for 
for perfection, there are some things in that trailer that didn't sit well with fans. We are talking about awkward NPC behavior, some weird rendering issues, and even strange driving mechanics. But let's be real for a second. This is early footage. Rockstar has a history of tweaking and improving things before launch. So it's likely these issues will be fixed before the game comes out. Still, it's interesting to see fans combining through every second of the trailer to find any tiny flaw. It just shows how high the expectations are for this game. One of the coolest things about GTA 6 is how Rockstar plans to make the world feel alive. We are already here that the NPC population in GTA 6 will rival the density of real world cities like Miami. That means when you are walking down the street in game, it's going to feel packed. You will see tourists, locals, street vendors, everyone is going about their business like it's a real city. And it's not just about numbers. The NPCs in GTA 6 will react to things in real time, get into a fight, people will start filming it with their phones. Cause a traffic jam, drivers will honk, yell, or even get out of their cars, the level of interaction is going to be off the charts. This kind of emotion is what makes GTA games so special. And Rockstar is set to take it to a whole new level with GTA 6. Now for all nostalgic Y City fans out there, GTA 6 is bringing us back to that iconic city, but don't expect a carbon copy of the original map. According to leaks, Y City in GTA 6 is going to be a modernized version of the 80s classic we all know and love. Famous locations like the Malibu Club, Ocean Drive and Starfish Islands are expected to make a return, but with updated visuals and new layer of detail. Plus, there's talks of some story connections between GTA 6 and Y City. We might even see some familiar faces from older game, but in older, more seasoned version of themselves. It's like Rockstar is giving a nod to the past while also pushing the series forward. And that's a wrap for today folks. What do you think about Sony grabbing those marketing rights? Are you pumped for the new level of realism in GTA 6? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming deep dives into the latest GTA 6 news. Stay tuned and keep gaming. Peace out.